What's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome to this week's chat to recap fantasy football for the week in Paradise Kids uh, Fantasy Football League. Uh, let's get started with the scores and the matchups. All right, our first matchup, we had Danny's Woodhead versus the Homosexuals. Uh, I mean, they're homosexual tendon, tendancy, and Danny's Woodhead came out on top, 116-99. to 99. Um, Danny's Woodhead got great scores from Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson, and solid efforts from Daniel Thomas and Ray Rice, uh, while the Homosexuals got subpar games from most of the lineup, um, with a good game from Rod, Rob Gronkowski, and a decent game from uh, Big Ben uh, Roethlisberger, but other than that, um, the homosexuals lose 116-99. to 99. Maybe it's because he couldn't spell tendency right, I don't know. Alright, our next matchup was I saw Vic's pussy losing to the Cleveland Steamers, and the Cleveland Steamers get the first win of the year. Got great effort from Darren McFadden with 20, almost 30 points. Uh, Jimmy Graham also had 16 points. And Janikowski of the Raiders, the kicker, had 13 points. And I saw Vic's pussy got a good game from Ahmad Bradshaw, who had almost 20 points. But then none of his starters had over 10 points. So I saw Vic's pussy loses 89 to 74 yeah that's bad i don't know what his team name is referencing but um it shows that he's not a very intelligent man and he has mike vick on his team i don't know why that's his team name all right next matchup we had the purple swirly helmets aka the homo team uh versus the asian team of north vietnam and North Vietnam came out on top, 118 to 98. Uh, let's see. North Vietnam got big games from Ryan Matthews and Wes Welker, as well as Drew Brees, each putting up over 20 points. Uh, while the Purple Swirly Helmets got a good game from Sean McCoy and Aaron Rodgers, but other than that, didn't do so well. Let's keep it going. By the way, Purple Swirly Helmets complaining on the message board about his name. I'm not sure what he was referring to, but maybe he needs to change it. Next we have the Ball Scratchers defeating Green Eggs and Cam again. Losing. Green Eggs and Cam go to 0-3. Maybe they should change their team name to Green Eggs and Can't Win a Game. But let's go through the score. Tom Brady had another good, big effort for the Ball Scratchers with 28 points. Michael Finley had three touchdowns in, in his game to have 26 points. And he also had 20 points for Mike Wallace. And Green Eggs and Cam got 22 points from Fred Jackson and 14 from Roddy White and 13 each from Kevin Cobb and Andre Johnson, but got poor efforts from Kellen Winslow and nothing from Peyton Hillis uh, because he didn't play. I don't know why they would start him when he wasn't playing. That's dumb on their part. All right, and our next matchup, our last matchup actually, was a very low scoring affair. It was Niggas Be Crazy versus the Blonde Bombers. And Niggas Be Crazy came out on top, 77 to 59. Now if Niggas Be Crazy played anybody else besides the Blonde Bombers, maybe there was another low score in there. I can't remember, but he would have lost. But since Blob Bombers did so poorly, niggas be crazy wins. Got pretty good games from MJD and Sean Green, Owen Daniels. Uh, but it, Blonde Bombers had very, very bad game. Uh, Neil Rackers had 15 points, and Hasselbeck had 18. But nobody else had above six points for the Blonde Bombers. And with that score, that leads us to the Donkey Punch of the Week. <laughs> and 
And this week's Donkey Punch of the Week goes to the Blom Bombers. 59 points, a season low for the league. Uh, she'll need to pick that up next week, or she's going to be down there getting another Donkey Punch. All right, let's look ahead to next week's matchups. We've got Danny's Woodhead against I Saw Vic's Pussy. And in this game, I have Danny's Woodhead uh, by a big margin. Matt Stafford and Calvin Johnson should have big games against the Cowboys. And Stevie Johnson and Ray Rice should have big games as well. Um, for I saw Vic's pussy. If Vic doesn't play, they're going to struggle. And other than that, the only impact player I see is Michael Turner. And at Seattle, I don't see him doing much. So I see Danny's Woodhead winning big. Next... Niggas be crazy versus the homosexuals. Uh, let's see. As of right now, it looks like the homosexuals should win the matchup. But niggas be crazy does need to fill Kenny Britt's spot. That wide receiver who got hurt needs to fill his spot. Um, this is a close matchup, but I expect niggas be crazy to win. Uh, I think Phil Rivers is always a good call as well as Brandon Marshall and Greg Jennings and MJD should put up big points at New Orleans. Next matchup, we got the Blonde Bombers, a.k.a. the Donkey Punchers of the Week, versus the Green Eggs and Cam. And this is a matchup of two struggling teams. For this one, I am going to pick... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Green Eggs and Cam get their first win of the year next week. Uh, hopefully Peyton Hills plays for him, and if not, they need to pay attention and not put him in the lineup. Uh, Kevin Cobb should have a pretty good game against the Giants at home, and hopefully Deshaun Jackson comes out of his little funk and does well uh, against San Francisco next week. And the Blonde Bombers just don't have a the don't have the the personnel or the, or the players to to match up with anybody right now. Um, only two starters projected to give above 10 points, and that's just not going to cut it in this league. All right, in our next matchup, we have the Purple Swirly Helmets against the Cleveland Steamers. And this should be a good matchup, but I expect the Purple Swirly Helmets to come out on top. Can't go wrong with Aaron Rodgers against the, the Enver defense. Uh, Hakeem Nick should have a big game at Arizona as well, and LaShawn McCoy, probably the most exciting player in the NFL right now. Uh, should have another big game against San Francisco. Cleveland Seamers uh, should get good games from Darren McFadden against New England and Tim High Hightower uh, against St. Louis. But other than that, I don't see too many points up for uh, Cleveland Steamers this next week. All right, finally, the Ball Scratchers against the North Vietnam team. And this should be a very close game, high scoring. Uh, it all comes down to uh, wide receiver and running back play. Both quarterbacks are going to put up big numbers. Uh, I think that the ball scratchers have an advantage in the wide receiver um, department. And it's fairly even in the running back department. But I give the slight edge to North Vietnam uh, with Chris Johnson. I think he's going to break out and have a, a better week this week. So I, I think I'm going to pick... I think I, I got to go with North Vietnam uh, to knock off the undefeated ball scratchers this next week. All right, let's just go over the, the standings as, as they are right now. Uh, we got Danny's Woodhead on top at 3 0 with over 360 points. And then the ball scratchers at 3 0. Then rounding out three and four spots are North Vietnam and Niggas Be Crazy at 2 1. Then at 1 2, we have quite a few teams. We got the Homosexuals. The Purple Swirly Helmets, I Saw Vic's Pussy, and the Cleveland Steamers, as well as the Blonde Bombers, all at 1 and 2. And rounding out the league of the Paradise Kids is the Green Eggs and Cam. Not only are they losing the league, but in my opinion, they're losing the uh, battle for the best names in fantasy. Uh, just some things to go over. If you guys have any questions uh, about... Uh, fantasy tips or any questions you'd like me to answer in next week's uh, broadcast, uh, just post them on the message board. Um, 
or if you have any ideas about what we could do, um, give me some ideas and we'll put those in there. Um, that's it from here. Uh, have a good week and we'll see you next week in, in the update.